is my view I woke up to on my second day back in Wyoming. I uh, stayed at my son's house the first night, and then the second night I was stealth parking at Walmart, and this is my morning view. So I guess winter's not quite done here yet. I knew it was, wouldn't be all the way done when I get up here this early, but I figured I'd share my exciting morning view with you. I'm hanging out at a park in Gillette right now, waiting for the library to open a couple hours, and meanwhile there are ducks out walking around on the ice here. This is my current view of the park. About 15 minutes ago, I was looking at the lake. Uh, it gets 24 degrees this morning with a good wind blowing and is this mixed precipitation of uh, like sleet and snow coming down. So, I, I was thinking this morning, you know, for all the talk about nomads being snowbirds and all the rest, the truth is sometimes we chase the weather, but other times the weather chases us. So snow in Wyoming in uh, March is not unexpected. It's, it's, it's actually it's pretty typical. Um, it'll it'll be. I, I knew it was going to happen when I came up this early that I'd get caught in some snow. Um, it, it'll probably be a month or two at least before we're out of the risk of some snow. Uh, but this is at least into the time frame where you get these a snowstorm and then it warms up again. So like that, we had that the time I'm recording this that uh, snowstorm was yesterday, and today is up into the upper 30s, but at least sunny. And you know, then it gets pretty nice for the next ten, seven or ten days, at least, for the extended forecast uh, going forward after today. So what surprised me about that storm was just that it had been in the 60s, and uh, it was even 60 degrees the day before. So when I woke up to that the next morning, from 60 degrees to that, it was a little bit of a surprise. And uh, and actually, it was it was the warm weather that made the roads so treacherous, uh, as well, because it had been warm, and then. You know, you get a couple inches of snow and sleet on it, and it just, it was warm, the ground was warm enough to melt stuff when it hit, and then it froze up because the air was cold, and it was a really icy mess on the roads uh, around the mor in the morning. It was pretty good by afternoon again. So that was my welcome to Wyoming, a nice 60 degree day, and then a snow and sleet storm to wake up to the second day. So, goes for the territory, and uh, you know, hopefully spring will be coming, it will be getting more nice days than, than uh, snow days. But I, but I survived it, and you know, for the most part, uh, and I didn't even run a supplemental heater in that in that weather. Amusingly enough, I didn't even have heat in the van when I got here because I uh, had to bypass the heater core to like get a replacement hose. And uh, in, Ar in Blythe, California, when I was leaving Ehrenberg, and so I left, uh, went over to Blythe and picked up the supplies, and it was my bypass was working just fine so I said well it's gonna be 75 degrees that day and I'm only going to southern Utah it's a one-day drive so I'll just fix it up there well then I ended up going to stay in there and ended up going up into the cold country so it was a little chilly without any heat in the van but I got that fixed on Sunday while it was 60 degrees out and uh, so I at least had that um, for when the weather was bad here but um, I didn't even run the supplemental heat in the van you know it just uh, Basically, I just put warm clothes on, and then when it started getting cold in the evening, I just bundled up in my sleeping bag. And even though I tr generally try to follow the weather, I do have um, good enough sleeping sleeping bag and, and jackets and stuff that I can I can stay warm down to. It gets probably yeah, if it get down below 20 degrees or something, I might be cold. But but you know, for the most part, I can I can deal with it all right. And uh, for an occasional thing, it's. Uh, and being in town, I've got family I can visit with here in a, you know, library and coffee shops and that kind of thing. So I can get out of the cold if I need a break for a while, too. So not a big deal. Um, it was just more a matter of hunkering down for for a day. Just like, uh, you know, kind of like we get a rainstorm in the desert or a windstorm in the desert. You know, just just one of those days that basically ends up being a down day, you know, so you can stay, try to stay, focus on staying warm and, and safe and, and uh, let it pass. And then it's gone. But I hope you enjoyed that little video tour of uh, my second day in Wyoming with a snow and sleet storm. Uh, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.